This is my DJI Avada and I've had this drone for around a year now. It got me into FPV and this is a great drone. It does everything I need it to do perfectly until it doesn't and it does that little tumble roll and stuff like that. So in today's video, we're going to be upgrading the DJI Avada with the Axis Flying 3.5 inch kit. So you're basically upgrading the motors, the blades, the frame, and uh, this thing is gonna be a bit more agile, a bit more punchy, and hopefully completely gets rid of that tumble roll crash situation that we have with the DJI Avada. I've been watching a bunch of videos about this kit right here, so I'm excited to get it built. Around 10 months ago, my friend and I, Tom, built our very first FPV drone. This is our five inch. And uh, yeah, today, this is gonna be our second build, the DJI Axis Flying 3.5 inch kit. So let's head over to Tom's place and get the build started. Hey. Hello. Oh, the camera's already out. That's quick. <laughs> all right, we've got the Axis kit open. We've got all the parts here, new props. we got a pair of four-bladed props, a pair of three-bladed props. We'll test them both out, I guess, see which one I prefer. But here we go, we've got the Avada, all the equipment here. Tom is the builder pro, so. Yeah, all the years of experience. Yeah. About one drone. <laughs> 10 months, it's our first drone 10 months ago. This is our second build. Hopefully it all goes well. Tom's gonna be doing a tutorial video step-by-step -step on how to do this on his channel. But here, we're just gonna do a cinematic montage, get the build done and head out flying and get out. Our uh, first impressions. So let's get into the build. Oh, oh nice. All right, we're gonna remove the props. Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Several hours later, here we have the DJI Avada Axis Flying 3.5 inch kit finished. It's dark outside, so we're just gonna have to place it here and do the test runs here. We're gonna turn it on without any props, see if the camera works, everything links up, the motors spin up, and hopefully it doesn't explode when we plug a battery in. And then we'll try and fly it in here, and then we'll go for the proper first test flight tomorrow morning. It looks so much cooler. All right, it's plugged in. Now we gotta turn the battery on. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Look, it looks like the motor's all worked as well. It's flashing, it's good news. I think it's successful, bro. Let's turn the controller on. Camera works. Camera works. Camera works. Whoa! Do they all spin? Yep. Okay, cool. Got a set of three bladed props. All right, this is the test flight now. <laughs> shit, bro. Why is this shit flying? Go, 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 echo, go, echo. I think it's the props are right. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah, okay. Props are not on correct. All right, round two. The props are now on the correct way. We had them upside down. Whoa, whoa. Get ready to disarm. No, that's wrong as well. We can't figure out which way to that put the propellers so on. Stupid. Round three. Take it to a field. All right, here we go. DJI Avada 3.5 inch. First test flight. Outdoors. Outdoors. Just doing this test flight to make sure everything works. And uh, yeah. I'm Jeez. really nervous. <sighs> you nervous as well. I think it's All just right, gonna crash. Mode. Fucking shield. Here we go. Oh wow, we're up. Oh. Yep, it works. Flips perfectly fine. I think we're good, bro. Oh. I think we're good. Oh. That's so relieving. No air is Oh yeah, it feels good. I just did a big yaw and nothing happened. Oh really? Try this some crazy like free stuff stuff. Sounds really good. You like the sound of it? Yeah. It sounds healthy. Do some yawing. 180. Power loop. So I, I can still see, I can see the prop guards. I'll put it a bit higher. Gotta get 25. All right, we're at 25. I'm really high up right now. 88%. Look at this view. Oh man, it's pretty windy. It is. How's it going? We got 
the motor morning yet. I haven't. Should I give it a bit of a punch? Yeah, mate. Alright, we'll give it a big punch. Nothing, I didn't get any warning. Oh, wow. Alright, can I get Bring it in. Oh, there we go, motor overloaded. Yeah, I can definitely hear the prop wash still. Can you tell the difference between the old and the Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm flying it a lot more similar to the 5 inch than I would with the older Vada. Nice. Impact detected. Oh, uh, at least it didn't take off. Successful, the drone works, that's all we really wanted to test oh, thank here. Oh god. Wait, let me have a go. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa it's, it's pointing straight down. A lot quicker than the Avada. I'm just checking all, making sure everything works. Ooh. Nice. 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 Ooh. What, what are you doing? That at? <laughs> it looks like a mosquito. What are you doing? It's like not freaking out. It's handling the intense movements really good. Oh! Oh, bro, that scared me. <laughs> I couldn't tell the orientation of it. This is sick. Yeah? Is coming behind us. Nice. This is really good. Oh yeah, this is really good. Because before it was just shit. <laughs> it's actually flyable now. Whoa, it's fast, bro. Right? It's really good. Like, it doesn't feel weak anymore. Nothing unpredictable has happened yet. Yeah? Oh! What's the battery at? 47. It lasts a long time. Oh my god! That yeah. looks like you're going straight down. That's really good. First impressions? Yeah, it's much better. That's, that's so good. Sweet. Oh, thank god. Everything works. Successful build. Oh. So, the build is successful. We didn't mess anything up. It flies perfect. Tom even reckons it flies so much better, which I agree as well. It's a lot more agile, a lot more trusting. You're not worried if it's going to freak out and do the whole yaw roll, but there are a few problems with uh, this new kit, and the biggest problem for me, and kind of the only problem for me, is the fact that we can't access the SD card slot here very easily. So, we're going to try and figure out a solution for that. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet but that's why we didn't have very cinematic looking footage just then we had the footage from the goggles so we're gonna go sort this out go somewhere beautiful and get some beautiful shots with it uh, yeah. It is a new day. The other day was way too windy. It was 32 kilometer winds. Today, still a bit windy, 16 kilometer winds, but we're back out at a more urban free fly kind of spot with obstacles and stuff. We're gonna do a bit more freestyle kind of flight testing for the Axis Flying 3.5 inch kit. And for the SD card problem, there wasn't like an amazing fix. The best thing you can do is take the prop guards off each time and take the SD card in and out. But obviously that is a pain, I won't be doing that. You can also file down or cut out a bit of the frame for easier access that way, but my Axis Flying Kit is way too brand new and I don't want to chop into it yet. So what I'm probably going to be doing is just plugging it into the USB-C back here and getting the files off that way. We're going to get the Avada in the air, do some freestyle testing, and we're also going to mount the GoPro on top to see how it handles that. So let's get into flying. It actually is quite windy today, not as windy as the other day, but see how we go. Anyway. Yeah, still pretty windy today. Oh, it's so nice how it can recover from a dive like that. Oh yeah, that's nice. Woo! Oh yeah, so much better at freestyle. Oh, 
Oh, got a bit scared there. The winds are pushing me sideways, but we'll see if we can do a power loop. Sort of. Not bad. The winds are going in this direction. So it's a bit tough. But it's definitely a massive difference compared to the old Avada. It's a lot more trustable. Like, look at that, the old Avada would have crashed there for sure. That was actually pretty close. That was nice. So fun. At a 30 angle now. Oh yeah, save that good. Imagine hitting jumps whilst recording on the drone. That'll be so sick. I actually got a bit of a tumble just there, maybe from the wind. That would be so sick. We get Tom on the drone and then he films me hitting the... Um, Hitting the jumps on the Suron or some bike, coming in. <laughs> that would be so sick. Yeah, like look, when I do this, get a bit of a tumble, but it saves itself, which is really nice. All right, we're at 24% now. Let's actually try that. Yeah, it definitely is able to, oh yeah, that's fine. The old Avada would be smashed from that. Yeah. Alright, we're at 19%. We're going to bring it in. That was cool. Oh, it's getting windy. Oh, gainer. <laughs> Alright, we're going to bring it in. Oh. I did in fact crash it accidentally when I was trying to concentrate on talking, but it didn't do the freak out thing where it switches into normal mode and goes crazy. I was able to just switch it off like a normal manual drone, which is good. So I'm gonna go retrieve that and then put the GoPro on it and see how it handles that if it's not broken. Okay, the drone was fine. As you can see, we have the GoPro attached on top now. The mount is quite flimsy. It kind of wobbles around and stuff, but it should be fine. We'll see if the uh, Avada can lift it. I'm never really ever gonna shoot like this anyway. The camera, the O3 slash Avada camera is really good and that's all I really need for this drone setup. I won't ever be using a GoPro, but we're gonna be testing it out anyway, seeing if it can lift it, seeing if it can flip and how it goes. So let's turn it on. Oh yeah, it definitely pulls back. It's doing it. I'm hoping the angle is set right. Yeah, it's definitely got some weight on top of it, that's for sure, but it's doing it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely got some weight on top of it. All right, so I've got to be a bit more careful. The drone's fine, of course. Camera angle is still all right. We're good. And we're up. Let's try to just get some cinematic shots. Coming through on the Sauron. Oh, big whip. Let's see if we can do a flip. Flip, does it easily. Like at the moment, I'm not sure if it's still got the GoPro on top. Maybe it flew off. Nah, it definitely still feels like the GoPro is there. It flies fine with the GoPro on top, but not, not for freestyle. Nice. Damn it. <laughs> Another crash. That's just showing the durability of it as well, but. This is 
trippy. It's playing third person right now. Oh my god, where am I going? Oh, alright, am I in front of the camera? There we are. There we go. And that is it for my first impressions on the Axis Flying 3.5 inch kit. I'm really happy with how the build went and how this thing flies. My main reason for upgrading the Avada isn't for freestyle flying specifically. There are quads that are way better at freestyle flying. I upgraded this thing just to have more trust in it when filming my cinematic shots for these videos when flying around subjects or even having Tom flying around me. Yeah, just having more trust in this thing. Hopefully completely getting rid of the tumble that the old Avada did, which in my testing in today's video, it did look like it completely solved that issue. It did have a bit of a tumble, but it was able to correct itself or I was able to correct itself without it freaking out on itself, if that makes sense. And also the issue that the old DJI used to have when it would crash a little bit, like it would detect an impact, it would switch into normal mode, try and correct itself, but wouldn't be successful and would just fly in one direction and you wouldn't be able to control it anymore. That didn't happen to me in this video. I was able to just switch it off with the disarm switch like a normal FPV drone, which I was really happy about, but I'm pretty sure I just got lucky. Other than that, I'm really happy with with this drone build. If you guys did enjoy it, please show this respect. Click this playlist if you want more FPV content and I'll see you guys over there.